not yet, um, but I feel really, really close. Um, so I think that's good. And then being able to go out there in the game, knowing that I could, you know, play football in the game, I felt like helped me a lot mentally. Um, but it's probably still a couple little things we got to get through. But other than that, pretty close. Did you campaign today, or was that part of the plan? Um, that was part of the plan. That was always part of the plan. Yeah. Um, obviously we were gonna wait and see how practices went with the Jags this week. You know, nothing happened or anything like that. Then yeah, that was part of the plan to, to get in this game. For sure. Perfect from wrong. The braces. No more? No more. <laughs> no more. Not at all. Done. No practice, no games with the brace. What was that like that first day with the brace? I know we talked about it last time you were here. Yeah, yeah. What was that like now that you actually had it? Oh, good. Yeah. Um, it just gives you more range of motion, obviously, and then it's, you know, not like weighing you down. Um, so that was kind of the biggest thing. But in terms of, I mean, it still felt the same out there. You know, knees just as stable and stuff like that. So I'm glad I'm able to not have it. Obviously, a lot of cuts are coming in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, as the veteran core guys coming back, feel about this team as you come out of preseason heading into the season? Yeah, I would say we feel really good. Uh, I feel like, I mean, just in comparison to last year, we just have a lot more depth um, across the board, really, at all positions. So I think that was kind of a big thing for us be able to play fast or play physical and stuff like that. So I, I we feel really good going into the season. Yeah, you're right. The whole defense line, the whole defense in general, we uh, we did a good job. Came out playing fast, just trying to stop the run, especially in the first half. And we all had a good day, man. It seemed like you guys were trying to send a message maybe on both sides, the running game and the way you guys were able to dominate up front. What, what kind of message were you trying to send about this team? Well, throughout the whole preseason, our number one message was like stop the run um, and give the ball to offense and then have the offense rolling. It doesn't matter if we go out there. Even on that one interception, we went out there, stop the run, get the ball back to the offense, and then they're rolling downhill the whole game. How do you look at this defensive line group now that we're wrapping up the preseason? I got a lot of good guys on the defense line group. It's a lot of good competition, especially coming down to this 53 cut, man. Um, but it's been been amazing playing with these guys. The tenacity come from everybody. The leadership come from Grady and the guys like Rush. It's been it's been awesome this whole preseason. You mentioned that cut down. It's kind of the worst part of the year, right? Yeah. What are these next 72 hours or so like? It's, you know, it, as a young player, that's why I try to tell the young players like it's it's, it's mind boggling. But you know, you just have to find a place where you can you know get your mind off of it. Um, I'm gonna hang out with my wife and my sister and just kind of get my mind off to go out to eat and stuff like that. And then whatever happens, happens. How tough is that? I mean, do you find yourself looking at the phone or are you able to just say, I'm, I'm out? You know, the first first couple of years of coming to the league, yeah, you're you're looking at the phone trying to wonder if they're gonna call or not. But now I've been in the league for a long time, so it's like right now I'm just it is what it is. I'm gonna let go and let God and you know. Whatever happens, happens. Last question for you. Overall impressions of this defense uh, now that the preseason is is under your belt? Uh, this defense is amazing. It's it's. I've been on a lot of good defenses throughout my career, and this one has a special bond. We've been we've been attacking the line of scrimmage. The linebackers are playing downhill and playing amazing. Our back end are covering dudes like crazy. So I'm excited to see what happens during the season. Early in that game, we were calling your name every few plays. <laughs> I mean, I love it. Just every time I get the opportunity to go out there and play fast, physical, and just fly around, that's what I love to do. And I'm thankful I'm getting the opportunity to do so every time. So I'm just trying to go out there and get better every time I step on the field. I know it's only some starters for you guys. It's only some starters for them. But what kind of message do you feel like this defense sent early in the game? You were really holding them to very few yards, yeah. getting in the backfield. So the main thing that we're going to do is stop the run. That's mm -hmm. one thing we put a big emphasis during the training camp, stop the run and get the opportunity to go out there and pass. Right? So as long as we do that, we stop. If we we able to stop every team, we will get the opportunity to pass. Right? So starting with the main thing, stopping the run and have again the opportunity to pass. Right? I'm sure a lot of fans were excited to see so many members of this rookie class making big plays. We saw D'Angelo Malone uh, score a touchdown on special teams. What's it like? You know the young guys here stepping up at the end of the preseason. I mean, it, it's great, man. We we we're a unit. Uh, we a whole rookie class. We came out here together. We learning every day together. So just seeing each other make plays out there. I mean, I love it. What's the biggest difference in yourself now from when you showed up to Flowery Branch? Gosh, it feels like just weeks ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. So I feel like uh, I can see myself being more comfortable with the scheme, uh, just being out there, being more physical, especially. Uh, I think I played the run way better than I did when I first got here. And as each preseason game, I felt like I was getting better in terms of recognizing some of the plays that the office, and the office was doing and kind of trusting myself. Uh, more in terms of uh, reading some keys and reacting to, to the play. What was the message from Arthur Smith? Because now it gets real. You guys are two weeks away from the first regular season game. Yeah, so the, the biggest <laughs> thing was a uh, hell of a way to close the preseason. And now uh, it, it gets real. So it's just a matter of us going back to the drawing board and prepping for uh, New, uh, New Orleans. And last thing, it had to be fun sharing, uh, seeing 
your guy Derek have a huge game out there today. Yeah. What were you guys saying uh, in the locker room and on the sideline as he was so making Chris, plays? He, he actually had a sack, and he said he was going to uh, call a whole uh, D line coach, not Penn State, because he had a sack today. And now he's calling himself the doctor of Penn State. So <laughs> it was fun. Does he give himself a lot of nicknames? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs>